Welcome to the Grok Shop. Recently I decided to start in on a new build and I needed to get the headset cups out. I did this in the past but I couldn't really remember how I did it. I think maybe I borrowed the tool from somebody or something. Here you can see what the tool looks like. It's about 20 bucks or so. Not super expensive but you know for a pipe with some cuts in it it's a little silly. So I figured I'd just roll my own. I decided to use PVC since it's soft and I didn't want to damage the frame or the cups at all. This head tube's one and an eighth inch and I got three quarter inch PVC for the job. It'll probably do bigger headset tubes as well. Of course, you could use other materials if you want like copper or brass, something soft like that. So I used the super accurate eyeball measurement to measure a few inches longer than the head tube and cut it down to size with a hacksaw. You could probably use a Dremel or whatever your favorite cutting tool du jour is. A sort of side bonus of using PVC as the material is it's super easy to cut. To make the flanges, I just eyeballed it and cut it into four equal quadrants from the end about three or four inches deep. If your quadrants aren't perfectly even, it's no big deal really, it'll still work. If you wanted it to be as even as possible, you could just measure the circumference, divide by four, and then put a mark at uh, your one quarter of the way uh, mark around the circle using that circumference. You should end up with something kind of like this, which is still pretty useless until you can get those flanges separated. Probably the biggest downside to using PVC is it won't hold its shape like metal will. So what I decided to do was to stuff it with some sockets. Uh, you could use anything round probably. And once you get something in there, then apply some heat and get it to kind of melt a little bit. And then when it cools off, it'll have a new shape for you. So yeah, I used a propane torch to apply my heat because it's fast and effective. I would think you could use a heat gun just as well. In fact, uh, in some ways a heat gun may be better because the propane torch can get it kind of a little too hot sometimes, making it uh, stretch more than you want. Um, but it turns out it'll just stiffen right up and you can reheat it and rework it and PVC seems to be good like that. So this is how it ended up. Not as beautiful as the one from the factory, but quite effective actually. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you found it useful. Be sure to stay tuned for more bike related videos. But as far as making a custom headset cup removal tool out of PVC, that's how it's done.